think we're going to do well on that. So Rashad said you, you and he have been kidding about the two-minute build drill being your time since back in high school. Yeah, um, yeah, it came up to me one time and said, kind of, this is kind of your thing. Um, and I, he, he's a little jokester, so I have a good time going back and forth. With him. Yeah. Is it your thing? Uh, I wouldn't say it's my thing, but uh, I'm, I'm comfortable in it right now. I think I'm seeing the field well, so. That's one thing I can put it. If you always had such balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a kid, did you? Give yeah. an example as a kid when things were tight and you came through. Um. I was a baseball player when I was younger, and I would always uh, there'd be there'd be a few games where I wouldn't 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 hit well uh, in the whole game. I'd, I'd sneak out a ribby at the end of the game or something like that. Um, but I mean, I, I don't think it's anything special. I think it's just getting lucky and making a play at a certain point. You obviously enjoy that kind of situation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody wants to rise to the occasion uh, when it presents itself. So. Um, you just, it's kind of like you want to seize the moment. If it's as you as quarterback 1A as your role, is that, I mean, how would you describe your role? Is there, I mean, it, do you call yourself the backup or the 1A or just a quarterback? I mean, I don't, I don't really get worried about that. I, I just get ready to play. I know I'm going to play at some point in the game. Um, so I prepare as if I'm going to be the guy. I know, I know that's not the case, but I prepare as though I'm, I'm going to be taking the first snap and the last snap. And I think if I, if I do it any other way, I'm in trouble. What do you say when you go in, say for that drive at Syracuse, what do you say in the huddle? I uh, say so one play at a time. Um, let's get this first first down and get this thing going. Um, well, let's get it, get it done. Um, try to keep the guys guys as loose as possible because we do this, we do it at practice. I mean, we've been doing it for two months now in camp, so just one play at a time pretty much. Did you True. look at any quarterback that, as you were growing up that you watched two minute drill, you going, that's, that's going to be me someday? Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if I said that it's going to be me, but I, I like watching Favre a lot, um, kind of slinging around, and uh, I mean, Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. It's just it's just cool to watch, um, to see the kind of control they have in the game. I think it's really cool to see. So which personality is yours closest to Favre, the gunslinger, the cool man Lou? decision where you're going to play the third series of the second quarter? Is it that specific or is it more just kind of a feel? And then obviously towards the end of the games or an injury situation, you know, you don't know, but is it is it kind of orchestrated when you're going to play? Um, McCall, Coach McCall usually tell me uh, like last two weeks so I'm try to get you in our third or fourth series. Uh, we'll see how the game is going. Um, I think it just depends on the flow of the game at a certain point. I mean, if, if the offense is doing well, nice if we could uh, start fast and, uh, and hold the lead, yeah, um, but I think we'll be alright.